it has literally given me the sauce on how to make goals happen hello guys my name is michelle diaz welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite favorite books and no i don't review it so you don't read it i review it so you do read it and it gives you some motivation to go read it so today we're going to be reviewing atomic habits by james clear this is one of my absolutely favorite books it literally changed the way that i plan my days out the way that i live my life the way that i look at life and i'll tell you why i want you to imagine a plane going from la to new york let's say when the plane takes off the pilot decides to turn the degrees 3.5 to the south he's just literally gonna point the nose a few feet down nobody is gonna know what's happening but him but when magnified across the course of the whole united states you will end up in washington dc so just for doing a small change that literally nobody noticed you ended up more than 100 miles away from the destination that you were supposed to go to the immediate impact of that pilot putting the plane 3.5 degrees to the south did nothing right but throughout time it magnified so that is exactly how your life is and how your habits are but that is actually key point number one think about the way that you deal with stress if you deal with stress with going to the gym throughout the course of you know two three years of you dealing with stress that way you're going to see a lot of positive changes in your body and let's say instead of working out you do stress eating right every time you get stressed you just throughout the years if you keep on um handling stress that way you're going to see a lot of negative changes in your body and that is literally how it is with our everyday lives let's say you decide to save some money today you're not going to automatically become a millionaire you're going to eventually become a millionaire there's definitely a possibility for you to become a millionaire but you just need that consistency if you're working out you're not automatically going to get buff after working out for seven days straight you can literally work for 24 hours and you won't get buff that is because it requires constant effort little bitty habits little bitty changes can make a huge impact Time magnifies the margin between success and failure. Let's say you sit back and stay on social media for four hours a day. That is 1,460 hours a year. 1,460 hours just out the window. But then maybe um, try to learn something new one hour a day. If you literally that shift in habits, that little shift in habits maybe you can even be learning something on your phone that shift in what app you are clicking on can literally make a huge difference in your life the second key point is that habits are automated behaviors that give satisfying results that's why they tell you when you go to the supermarket don't go hungry because then you're gonna get a lot of um you know unhealthy foods that you're probably feeling at the time and then you're gonna have them at home and like i said habits are automated behaviors so you're automatically gonna go for what's in the pantry now this is what changes you either decide to have healthy or unhealthy food in your pantry and that will determine how your body and your health is going to be over time so if you want to have good habits um put positive cues around you don't put things that can trigger you even the simplest of changes in our environment can make the biggest difference on how we act if there is an activity you want to do or a habit that you want to pick up make sure you um, put cues for yourself let's say um, it's a lot easier for me to start reading right when i wake up if my book is right next to my bed like i literally have the book between my um, headboard and my mattress like i have it in there so when i wake up i literally just wake up and i grab my book and i read and that makes it so easy than if i had my book maybe in a shelf or if i had my book like in my ipad then i'd go with my ipad and i'd go like on instagram and i'd like i wouldn't go straight to what i had to do so my cue is to put it right next to my bed because i know that is the first thing that i'm going to grab same thing with water same thing with working out make your cues obvious remind yourself to stick to a habit and it will eventually become a habit key point number three is make a clear plan oh my goodness and this is what i would struggle with right i'd be like okay i want to do this this and that this year and then throughout the year i'd be like oh i can't wait to achieve you know whatever it is that i told myself i was going to achieve this year and the year goes and i'm like wait the year already like what <laughs> 
because I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a system. The word system has literally changed my life. Like since I develop a system, since I learned how to develop systems in order to get me to wherever I want to go or wherever I want to be or however much I want to make, you have to make a system. And that is because a lot of people are goal based. They are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna achieve this, this and that, but they don't exactly know how to get there. So if you have a system, you will know exactly how to get there, which means that the goal is already done. It's already done because you already have a system. You already know how you're going to get there. You already know what you're going to do every single day in order to get there. So what I do is I sorry. <laughs> What I do is I list out all the things that I want to do, right? Either I want to um, increase this or I want to do better here or I want to start this or I want to get better in this area. Okay, what am I gonna do? I, I space my days out. I, I, I write ways on how I'm going to get there, right? So let's say, okay, I want to um, become more educated. I want to become more educated. What am I going to do? What do I want to get educated on? Right? I'm going to look for the subject that I want to get educated on. First, I'm going to list out all the things that I want to be educated on. I'm going to pick a subject. I'm going to look for courses or look for things that that will educate me on that subject i will space them out between the days that i'm going to be studying and first you need to make a list of the days that you're going to be studying and that way you are literally going to be done with things before you even know it that is literally the recipe to success don't just say oh yeah you know like i'm gonna start working out more no have like a dot a day and a time because you're always gonna say oh you know like i'll just start working out tomorrow like i already have like i'm already gonna start working out like i'm already gonna start working out i'll just do it tomorrow and then the next day is going to be like that and then the next is going to be like that and then the next is going to be like that so if you have time and a place and a day you're going to be like oh, i'm going to work out every single monday at four and guess what you're going to be doing every single monday at four you're going to be working out why because you told yourself that's when you were going to do it first of all you need to have discipline to do this right but discipline is a lot easier if you don't give yourself like if you don't make yourself cheat because if you don't put a time and a day you're gonna keep cheating yourself out of it you're gonna keep nah like i don't have a day and a time for it like i can do it whenever i want so i just you know i'll just do it tomorrow I'll just do it tomorrow I'll just do it tomorrow and you literally cheat yourself so by being organized by planning things ahead by having a date and a time for things you're not going to be able to cheat yourself and if you're like me and if you cheat yourself you're going to feel like Shh. the fourth fifth i don't know i was y'all already know me i don't know why we're doing this again the next key point is using a reward system in order to make um habits more attractive a lot of the times um you know people's um, activity of choice will be whatever's easier or easiest which you know like watching tv or taking a nap or going on their phone so those tasks are easy for people to do in order to fill up their time let's say um reaching those fitness goals or learning the new language that you want to learn those are a lot harder right the reason why new habits are hard to adapt is because um, of the effort that it requires for you to like start them so the trick to adapting new habits is to just reducing the most friction that you can between you and that habit like i said um you know it's a lot easier for you to grab a book that is right next to you than if a book that it's in the bookshelf in the living room you know what i mean like in the book james clear talks about how he always has a hard time sending out cards like christmas cards and thanksgiving cards and birthday cards he always forgets to do that so what his wife did is that she bought a bunch of greeting cards and whatever cards right birthday cards so every time there is an occasion where they want to send a card they don't need to get in the car and go to the store and pick out a card no because she has a box full of those cards so all you have to do is go to that box write the card and send it so that way she is reducing a lot of friction between her and that task which makes it a lot easier which is honestly a super super good idea yeah, like that way your relationships with like a one they'd be like oh my god this person is so considerate this um can also be done with things that you want to stop for example every time i sit on my desk and i'm like okay i'm gonna study i cannot have my phone next to me because i know that literally and this would always happen like involuntarily like it would just be it was like if i was i was a robot like i would be studying and then out of nowhere without me even like acknowledging it i'd get on my phone 
and then I'd be like, what are you doing with my phone? Like this, because the, it's just habits, automated habits being on your phone. So um, when I study, I like to put my phone on my bed or turn it off or, you know, just have it out of my sight. In this case, creating friction between me and the habit that I want to get rid of. So I stop doing it. And the last key point is, you gotta start tracking your habits. You gotta start acknowledging what you're doing because sometimes we're literally doing things that we don't even know are really harming us in the long term. So be very self-aware of, every, of everything that you're doing, everything that you are listening to, that you're watching, the way that you're spending your free time. Really just sit and acknowledge all of these things. And when they're written down on paper, you're going to see what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And a way to keep these habits, um, let's say you decide that you want to lose weight, so you want to go to the gym. Let's say your goal is to uh, lose 100, no, not 100, that's a lot. Um, 30 pounds, right? Your goal is to lose 30 pounds. So you make a plan, you make a system. How am I going to lose these 30 pounds? Okay, when it comes to food, I need to eat healthier. I need to eat less. When it comes to working out, I need to work out certain parts of my body. I need to do certain workouts. Um, these many times a day, this many times a week, at this time of day and I'm gonna have this friend to keep me accountable so what your friend and you are gonna do is you guys are gonna put something that has value to you mostly people will put money so let's say you set a goal and you tell your friend okay if I don't make it to my goal um of course it has to be like a realistic goal like you don't want to make yourself lose so tell your friend okay if i don't make it to my goal i'm going to give you 500 dollars, right and every time you do not want to get up and go to the gym or you want to go to mcdonald's or you want to do something that would negatively impact the goal that you have you're gonna think about those 500 dollars and you're gonna be like Man, you know maybe i don't need that mcdonald's <laughs> and those were just a few key points from all of the value that i got from this book guys this book will literally just it will just it will change everything oh yeah and the reason why i tell you guys that it changed the way that i look at life is because i kind of am not longer worried about where i'm going to end up because i know that i'm on my way there so i'm not even focused on my goals so i'm not even even i'm not even focused on the end goal i'm focused focused on loving the process on romanticizing every single day on okay it's a content day okay bet i'm gonna have the best content day i can have and i'm gonna put together the best outfits i can have it's study day bet i'm gonna try to learn as much as i can and i'm gonna look cute and drink coffee while doing it you know what i mean like i know that the way that i'm spending my time if it's according to my calendar it's going to put me in the place that i want to be no questions asked. So thanks to this book, not only do I romanticize every single day of my life because I know that whatever I'm doing, it's gonna work and it's gonna get me there and it kind of already has. It's all about you seeing what changes you should make and making those tiny changes in your life for it to improve and become the life that you want it to be. So if you guys haven't read this book, I really, really encourage you to go read it. Remember guys, you don't need, even need to read it. You can literally listen to it on audiobook. It's like if you're listening to a podcast or a YouTube video, I don't know, like it's, trust me, because a lot of people are like, well, I don't like reading. You don't have to read, just listen to it. Like while you're cleaning the house, while you are washing your car, while you are on a drive, whatever. And actually, I'm going to be giving every single book that I make, like the book review, I'm going to be giving away one book to you guys. But if you guys want a book, comment down below your favorite book. And if you don't have a favorite book, comment a favorite movie. And also let me know if you guys have read this book before because I know that literally every single entrepreneur loves this book because it is like, it's that impactful. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys want more book reviews, I'll leave the other book reviews I've done down below. They are all about, um, you know, growth, and personal finance and um, entrepreneurship and things that are going to are going to help you in that area those are the kinds of books that I like to read so those are the kinds of books that I will be reviewing if you want more book reviews and content about beauty and mindset make sure to subscribe and give this video a like and if you guys want to see me on a daily basis make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok I post there pretty much every single day I love you guys and I will see you guys on my next one bye